quick update on the Emco Turn 120. Um, I'm using the DMM Technologies AC servos. These are the, the DIN 2 drives for the lathe. And you might be wondering why there are three. Um, we have Z, X, and this is going to be for the turret, hopefully. Um, there you see the Acorn uh, mounted up, and you see a breakout board on the DB25. That's where I'll be connecting uh, some of the, the inputs from the DIN 2 drives. Um, that right there is a 60 volt uh, toroidal unregulated power supply. Um, I added a, a fuse to it. Got this from John at Antec. Um, he's been around a long time and builds uh, toroidal, toroidal power supplies. This is the power supply for the uh, Acorn. And I've got a six channel NPN uh, relay output board. Um, this came from MD Fly. Uh, as the eBay seller, he also has a store online, MD, MD Fly Electronics, I believe it is. Um, I will be connecting the remaining six outputs to this so I have relay, SPDT relays, because um, I'm going to need them. And then this is going to be a terminal block, just a common terminal block um, for extra common uh, wires. And then you see I've got cable ties pop riveted to the plate. Um, I had the, you'll see in a previous uh, video or pictures, um, that I had the protective film on here and then I kind of laid out where all my wiring is going to go and then I cleaned the plate and then I put these uh, sticky uh, tie wrap down but I also drilled them and I put aluminum pop rivets in there so they don't come off. Um, you know they're notorious for popping off when there's a lot of heat they just come off. Um, so I chose to do this type of affair instead of using the Panduit system on this one. So the other thing that I've done here is uh, I've also put in, uh, that's a cutout for a louver plate. I'll show you that real quick. There's the louver plate. Um, it already has a fan in the door, so it blows, it blows inward and then it'll blow out that louver plate. And then um, on this side, The e-stop button will be right here, and then the power on off switch will be right there. Um, the reason the e-stop is going to be right here is because when the cabinet is mounted up, the e-stop button will be, right, will be right here in this general area. So I figured it would be just as well to hit the e-stop there. You know, we'll see if that works out. Um, if it doesn't, I might be changing it, but uh, for now that's where it's going to go. And this, you know, I've pulled the old panel off of it, and all the wires are pre-wired. The stepper motors are coming off of it to make room for the DMM NEMA 34 servo motors. Um, I will be using that uh, Huan Yang VFD on that uh, large Leeson 5 horsepower motor. So that's the update on the Emco Turn 120. I'm plugging along on two projects at the same time as best I could. The YCM, the Supermax YCM 40 is a priority. If I can squeeze in both projects at the same time, I'll do that. Talk to you guys soon.